up, my warrior family? It is Ant Warrior, and yes, your eyes are not messing with you. This is NBA 2K21, and now let me take a second to apologize for you guys. I know I'm late to this whole, like, uploading and everything like that for 2K21. To me, basically, I just didn't want to post to you guys something that was going to be repetitive, and to me, I was very disappointed of the way 2K21 demo was. It's basically a copy and paste of 2K20s, but... I was told by a lot of people to make still something for it, make either a my career player or something like that. But a lot of you guys don't know this because I haven't showed it off, but I've been playing a lot of park recently on 2K20. I've been playing with a lot of my friends, my brother and everything like that. And I currently play as a center. I kind of made like a taco fall build for that, uh, for that kind of like series that I do and everything like that. I played a glass cleaning lockdown. And I had so much fun for it. It was like seven, three max wingspan and everything like that. And it was so much fun. However, for 2K21, I want to make something different. I want to be able to drive to the basket a little bit easier. I want to get Hall of Fame finishing badges and everything like that. I want to get Hall of Fame defensive badges. And I want to be able to dribble the ball because I got stripped a lot with my taco fall build. So, yes, we are here with my player Bam Adebayo because if you guys don't know who this man is, he could have been the most improved player. Obviously, he wasn't. But this man has been killing it so far to this season. As you guys can see, obviously, center right-handed, number 13. Now, when you're thinking of a BAM build, a lot of people can go either way with this. A lot of people actually told me to do a full-on slasher build, but that defense is kind of low. And so, my idea of it was making a defensive finisher. A lot of people also do playmaking defending, just because then you can get finishing, still great finishing badges and overall stats but you still get the ball handling passing accuracy. However, for my build, I'm gonna go with the finishing defending just because to me, that is what Bam Autobio is about. He's all about that finishing, dunking on people and everything, catching those alley-oops while also swatting the ball, playing incredible defense. And not only that, but he plays incredible defense from the perimeter. And as you guys can see, so far I have like a 55 perimeter defense and only a 39 ball handling. So all of you guys are like, well, how is this his build? Just wait a second, wait till the full build and everything like that. Now, before I say anything, this is not gonna be my full on build. As you guys can see, I do go with the strength and agility just because you want to have the full max strength as much as possible. And like I said, you guys will see that later in the video. However, to me, this is not going to be my full build. I noticed kind of later on that I want to change some things up, especially with my takeover, and I will explain that later. But looking at the attributes, you want to max out everything when it comes to finishing besides the post hook, and you guys will see why. The ball handling and post moves, you want to max that out. And then when it comes to your defense, your interior and perimeter, lateral quickness, the block, the offensive and defensive rebound need to be maxed out. Now, as you guys can see, I'm going to be kind of messing with things just because as you guys see, I have 31 attributes left, and I do put the rest into post hook. Now, a lot of people can go ahead and say you can do that or move the rest into pack, uh, passing accuracy, get the 12 other playmaking badges, and only have 21 finishing. Now, in my opinion, I do really great passing wise, and with my Taco Fall build this year, I have like a 50 40 overall passing. And I'm able to chuck it from literally full court, and my teammates able to catch it. So to me, Having to have like a 63 pass accuracy with a center isn't really that necessary. And to me, you guys will see, I will take away the passing accuracy and put it to my post hook. I was kind of messing around to see if I can get more different types of badges. But overall, I do take away the pass accuracy and move it to the post hook just so I get those 25 finishing badges. I think overall that's going to make this build so much better. Even though you do get one playmaking, this build kills it. You guys will see some gameplay at the end of the video but look at all of these stats these are great stats even though i get a 69 driving hook you guys will see but obviously bam he's a built type body shape a lot of you guys can debate about that now a lot of you guys might not know this but bam is actually six foot nine so we are going to go ahead and move him down to six foot nine and look at these stats the speed goes up to 71 so does the acceleration the vertical goes up and like i said with the strength it went down to an 86 but look at everything else your driving layup goes now to 70 77 your driving dunk is now an 88 with a standing dunk of an 89 your ball handling goes up now to a 61 that went up plus 22 that's incredible even though your post moves go down it's still good it's a 72 post moves it's still good now look at the perimeter and lateral quickness that went up plus 14 so now he's a 69 
perimeter defense, so he can actually play some solid defense on these point guard builds. Like I said, a lot of center builds do not have that high perimeter defense with the speed, so that's going to help me out a lot, especially if I have to move on to a point guard build. But with the block and rebounding, those are still 83 overall, so that's going to work out nice. Now with me, with this build, I went like 255-ish just to have that kind of like happy medium, I believe. But as you guys can see, the more weight you go, the bigger strength you get, but the lower speed you get. Because now this year, the speed is affected with the weight. Like last year, it was only the acceleration, but this year, it's with the speed. But as you guys can see, I'm trying to find like the medium of what I want. But I also want that 80 overall interior defense. So I move my weight to 241. Now, when the full game comes out, I actually might make my guy a little bit lighter. And I will explain that kind of coming towards the end. Now, with the wingspan. This build obviously can't shoot. A lot of people say that he has a mid-range shot and everything like that. Well, look at what these stats are now. 90 driving dunk with a 95 standing dunk. This man can get every single contact dunk that even the big man contact dunks and the regular ones as well. This man is goaded. 80 post hook, a 93 close shot. Still has 61 ball handling. 61. Has an 80 interior defense with a 68 overall perimeter defense. 90 block with an 88 offensive and 88 defensive rebound. And it has been confirmed that when you reach 99, you will get the plus four. So like my standing dunk will go 99. My driving dunk will go like 94, 95. And then like my, my ball handling will go up to like a 66, 67. While my perimeter goes up to like an 84, 85. While my, and the, or sorry, my interior. Then my perimeter will go up to the 70s. Like, this build is goaded. Like, we can do everything on this build besides shooting. And that's fine because when I play with my teammates, all of them make shooting builds. A lot of them always make shooting, playmaking builds. I wanted to make a build that I know I can play on the defense, get the rebounds, and also finish at the rim. And this build can do it. Like I said, we get every single contact dunk available. And we still get a 60 overall vertical with a 70 overall speed. We still have an 84 strength reduced because of actually the wingspan now when it comes to this this is where i told you guys i messed up on you could either choose the slasher or the glass cleaning takeover i did choose glass cleaning because in my head i was like you know the rebounding is gonna be very important for me especially since i'm a low overall with the rebound however i realized in the gameplay you guys will see i did so well on rebounding i had like 34 rebounds and i barely even used my takeover for that so when the full game comes out I'm going to make my guy a little bit lighter, so then one, we can make sure we get a little bit extra speed, and I'll be able to get my slasher takeover. So that's actually what I'm going to go with when the full game comes out. That's kind of what I'm going to change up, but obviously when it does, I'll show you guys my full build and everything like that, just so if you want to copy it, you guys can. Now, as you guys can see, when you look at my build, I am a paint beast, but don't forget, because of the way we are built, this build is going to be demigod out there. Now, as you guys can see, we are going to move my guy up to a 99, just so when I show you guys the gameplay, you guys can see what I can do at the full overall. Now, when it comes to the badges, contact finisher, Hall of Fame, put that box on Hall of Fame, pick and roller on Hall of Fame, lob city finisher, and you can either do drop stepper on gold and so down, back down punisher, but I move those on Hall of Fame and put giant slayer on. However, in my opinion, I'm going to move giant slayer to probably the deep hooks, just because I know I do a lot of hook shots whenever I play on the park and this build is kind of meant to be played on park when you're going to get somebody and with Lob City Finisher once again that could be debatable just if you know your teammates don't throw lobs to you however my teammates do so that's why I moved it there um these badges don't really matter just depends on however you want to do it. postman technician you can do that however I'm gonna do unpluckable because even though I have a 61 I don't want to keep losing the ball out there you know especially if some point guard switches on me and takes the ball away I want to have a better chance of keeping it now, when it comes to the defense, Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser, Hall of Fame Rim Protector, Hall of Fame Worm, the box has to be Hall of Fame. Chase Downs Artist, that can be debatable. I do move Intimidator to uh, actually Hall of Fame, and then I put it gold on Pogo Stick, just so that I'm a better defender overall. I actually think these badges were really used wisely. I like the way these badges are going to be used. And like I said, if I can reach Legend and I get the plus 10, this build will be amazing. The shooting doesn't matter. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into the actual gameplay. Now, as you guys can see, yes, starting off, give me the block right there. Now, let me say this right away. I'm not going to show you guys the full on gameplay just because, like I said, it's repetitive. It's the same thing from last year. So I just want to show you guys a couple of highlights like that finishing over the defensive player of the year. I was able to finish around him right here, getting a nice, easy block on George. Hill. So like I said, I'm only going to show you guys just a couple of highlights and basically just talk about how great this build is. 
I think this build's gonna be nice, especially like this. Look at this, 70 speed, able to blow by a guard and catch an alley -oop. Like, who can do that? I like this build, I love it a lot. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun, especially once I start playing on the park with my friends, even I can play with subscribers. Now look at this, I'm able, even though I have great ball handling, I'm able to still blow by with the animations I have to finish around the rim. Now yes, I don't have an 80 ball handling, I don't have the greatest like pro animation ball handling skills, but I'm still able to use them to my advantage to cut to baskets to even finish at the rim. Look at that, half court alley-oop, catch it and I'm able to finish. And right here, look at this, post move, hop step, finish with the layup right there. Yes, the hop step is going to be crazy in this build. And once again, look at the speed, the advantage over Brooke Lopez right there to finish at the rim. Now, like I said, I'm not showing you guys the full-on gameplay, but the final stats were like 42 points with like 34 rebounds. Yes, I'm telling you, 34 rebounds, and I barely even used my takeover in this game. It really didn't go use to the rebounding. I did all of it basically on my own, but right here to show you guys kind of like the finals uh, highlight, getting the last block on Eric Bledsoe. But like I said, with this build, I'm going to have a lot of fun. I think it's going to be exciting, but like always, man, this is Antwerp, and I will see all of you guys later. Peace.